The match between Ben Rothwell and Philip Lins is slated, and Ben Rothwell, 6 foot 4, 78. 0.5 inches kickboxing BJJ fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. 38 wins, 13 losses, a real veteran of this sport, the former US MMA heavyweight champ, one knockout of the night, performance of the night two times, and he is a really, really skillful fighter. He defeated Gilbert Ivel, Brandon Schaub, Brandon Vera, Alistair Rovery, Matt Mitrioni, Josh Burnett, Stefan Struve, of Vincent Pro. He was losing to Orlovsky, even though Junior Dos Santos, Tibura. It's kind of hard to finish him, you know. Ben Rotwo hasn't been finished <coughs> many times throughout his career. But it seems his card is not uh, his duty. He's not the guy with the greatest card in the world. But a fearsome striker. Very great, very powerful. And he is really looking to put on a show. On the other side, we got Philip Lins, 6 foot 2. 79 inches is his reach. Which means there won't be a significant reach uh, disadvantage on any side. And Philip uh, Lins, Novo Niao Kimura. Fighter now fighting out of the American top team, black belt in BJJ, riding a score of 14-5. He was uh, 2018 heavyweight tournament uh, champion of uh, PFL. But uh, then, uh, after victories over Kyle and Carr, Jared Rushholt and Josh Kuplan, he started losing uh, He started losing every single fight. He lost to Andrei Arlovsky with a decision. He was knocked out by Tanner Bowser. And I think he is on a very cold streak. He is fighting to survive right now. At Bellator, he was also having a hard time with the uh, three wins, three losses, losses to Vadim Nemkov, Kleber, Silva, Kelly Anderson. Whenever he was fighting a really, really big name, Philip Lins was having a hard time. I think uh, Ben Rothwell is a better striker, but on the other side, Philip Lins is uh, better on the ground, so I predict a very, very hard fight, and <clears throat> as the fight advances into later rounds, it's not good for both fighters, because both of these fight fighters are not cardio machines. I mean, Philip Lins fought once for four rounds against uh, Josh Kuplan, and he didn't show superb levels of stamina. Also, Ben Rothwell's stamina is so so. I think this is a 50 50 fight, such a toss up. It's gonna be very, very hard for both fighters. Ben Rothwell is at the end of his career, and Philip Lins on the other side is looking to get back into the winning column. And this is his last chance, but I think Philip Lins has lost focus, man. Something has changed after year 2018. He's not the same fighter he used to be. I don't know, but something has changed. So I'm going to pick Ben Rothwell for the victory at this.